Well, where are we? We're on a bus. We're at the bus terminal, Omnibus Terminal in Mendoza. And we are on a bus to another country, Santiago, Chile. Let's go. Before we do that, I just want to say real quick, thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. Okay, so we're off. Leaving the bus station. Unless this bus is picking up more people somewhere along the way, there are not a lot of people on this bus. There's like, I'm like one of 10 people on this bus, which is good. So hopefully we'll get like good views out the windows through the mountains. And then hopefully also our crossing the border will be really quick because if this bus were like completely full, it'd be like 70 people. It would take forever to get across the border, but hopefully we'll get across quick. The bus is a, has seats that are semi, semi kama. It's like a half bed seat. So there's a lot of leg room in between the seats and the seats recline like halfway. It's nice for long hauls. And luckily there's a bathroom on this bus too. The bus company we took is Ahumara Internacional. And already we're getting outside the city. Saw this too when we were flying in. Once you get like even a little ways outside the city in Mendoza, it's all agricultural out here, like fields growing uh, grapes for wine and uh, olives for olive oil and things like that. And out there in the background, you can see the Andes. We're gonna be crossing over those, it's crazy. Well, you know, I am pretty excited to be going to Chile, new country, new city, Santiago. But I, I am a little sad about leaving Argentina because I've been here for like three months now and I've had a really good time seeing a lot of really great stuff. And the people here have just been so nice to me, you know, just like some big dumb gringo speaks like barely passable Spanish showing up and uh, everybody's been extremely, extremely nice. The people have been definitely the best part about Argentina. All the, all the other stuff was, was really great. The food and the sights, and the, you know, the, all the things that we did. But uh, for sure, the, the people, the people here just have been so nice. They've been really, really friendly and uh, I've really appreciated it. But I can't stay here forever, so. We're going, we're going to Chile. So when you get just maybe 15, 20 minutes outside the city of Mendoza, this is it. Just agricultural. Uh, there's, there's some, I've seen some grapes growing, like large vineyards and fields, but it's basically, it's very, uh, it's pretty remote. The city is pretty remote. So you can tell why um, connecting the railroad out here in 1885 was a really, really big deal because, I mean, it's all just sort of desert scrubland outside. Once you get past uh, the farms and up into the mountains, it's very, very remote. Getting closer and closer, closer and closer to the mountains here. I can see them ahead coming up. And we're on a pretty straight road here, but I've looked on a map and seen what the route is going up. We're going through uh, Paso de los Libertadores. That's the border crossing. And on the map, there's basically on the Argentine side, there's a number of sort of like long, lazy, winding switchbacks going up to, uh, to the border crossing. And then on the Chilean side, it's crazy. They have these really, really tight switchbacks, probably like 30 of them going back down 
uh, down the mountain. They're not messing around. There's no long, lazy route on that side. So, man, look at this. We zoom in. See if we can zoom in and see the uh, the mountains out there. Now those mountains there are a little a little lower in elevation. It looks like, but out in front, I don't know. It's hard to see on the video because of the glare on the glass. But there are snow-capped mountains over there. Then when we get up there, like ten thousand feet, I'm gonna be. Let's see if there's going to be snow. Keep getting closer and closer to those mountains. We are charting the same path as Jose de San Martin and the Army of the Andes, except we're doing it in an air-conditioned coach bus, which I think if Jose de San Martin had the opportunity to do it that way, he probably would have. We're also definitely going up in elevation. I can tell my ears are starting to like pop. I can feel the pressure. It's pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever been up at higher elevation above 10,000. Well, actually, that's not true. I think I was in Colorado at some point or Wyoming, somewhere out in the States, in the mountains, in the Rockies. And we went through a mountain pass that was up above 10,000 feet. Really are some incredible views. These mountains, seeing these from, you know, like the top of uh, Cerro de la Gloria and um, in Parque de San Martin, where that uh, monument is. It's really cool to see these, but I mean, they were very, very far away. Now we're like, we're like right at the base of the foothills. And they're like right there. Like I could almost reach out and touch them. Right in the like lower, lower mountain. I don't know, I guess there's these like retaining um, big mounds of dirt next to the highway. I guess to protect against rock slides and whatnot. But up there, like we're going right through the lower part of the mountains here. You can see them. There's no snow on these. This is like at the edge, but you can't see it from here. But up ahead, there are like the snow capped highest peaks um, of, of the Andes. Bit of a glare from the sun, but we are passing like a mountain little mountain lake or reservoir up here very very cool really good views out some other out the other side of the bus I may actually since the bus is so empty I may actually hop over to the other side and see if we can like take some take some uh, footage from over there that's just amazing It's a river that's been running. It's been running along, along the highway the whole way.
through a few tunnels here. And, uh, oh, look at this. These views are incredible. Part of this mountain here is very yellow. I don't know why. <laughs> I looked on the map, where actually the crazy thing is still getting the internet all the way up here in the mountains. And uh, I looked on Google Maps, and it looks like pretty soon. <laughs> looks like pretty soon we're going to be. Uh, we're going to hit. Uh, I can't remember some. There's a town up here where we're going to take a left. We're heading north right now, basically, but we're going to take a left. And that's going to take us, like, into the real, real pass of the mountains going through, heading, uh, heading west over to Chile, so. This is pretty wild. It's just been this incredible view from out of the right side of the bus this entire time with the, uh, the river and that, uh, like, old abandoned railroad track just running the entire way. Just these incredible views. <laughs> the sun's coming in from the right hand side because it's morning. Just saw a sign that said Bienvenido. Bienvenidos a los Pachalta. So, we're getting close. There's a sign for a hotel, seven kilometers. I imagine that's probably close to where we're going to be taking the turn. So, a few more minutes make that left and we're going to be heading, heading west through the mountains across the uh, what I imagine is like even uh, you know higher elevation because we've been we've been going north and if you look on a map we're, we're definitely going through the mountains but we're sort of heading north parallel to the mountain range once we take a left we're going to be heading west like perpendicular across the mountain range so be interesting to see what that looks like. Skirts in the town now. There's signs, there's buildings. I saw a gas station back there. There's all these trees, which I think are poplar trees planted here. These are all planted here. These do not grow naturally here, so. We're definitely getting into the civilization, which I imagine, like judging from Google Maps, this is going to be the last, like, this is the last populated area, it looks like. Um, before you get to the border crossing. So basically, we take a left at this town, and then we head up through the mountains, and the next stop is probably gonna be the border. All right, we're in town now, and we're making the left. Who's Pasalta? Who's Pasalta? So now we're heading, heading west, out of the town into the mountains. I mean, I say into the mountains. We've been in the mountains. Now we're really heading into the mountains. Looks like there's a big YPF truck stop here. Probably the last, yeah. Probably like the last place you can stop and fuel up, check your brakes, get something to eat before we head up into the mountains. 
just looked it up because amazingly up here we still have internet and uh, broadband and uh, I looked it up and the elevation for Uspashata is 2,000 right just above 2,000 meters 2,039 meters so pretty high up more than a mile more than a mile up at this point and we're only going to keep keep going because we're going to get up to like I don't know, probably like around 3,000 3, meters at the border crossing. The landscape has changed. There's a lot less green. The mountains out in the distance, sort of reddish. And I can see snow at the very, very top of one of them. Here, the mountains have completely changed. They used to have, you know, green vegetation on them down there in the part when we were coming up north. But once we turned and, uh, and we started heading west, they're just completely like barren, barren and like very rocky. The further we go along here, going west, the mountains have become like all red. It's a very like red soil, very red rocks. I think it's probably pretty hard to see on video, but it's it's hard to explain how like towering these mountains are. Like on video, you can see the mountains, but I mean, they are absolutely huge and you feel like really, really small here at the bottom of them. I keep thinking about the army of the Andes, Jose de San Martin, having to do this, but doing it, you know, <laughs> thousands of troops with horses and mules and having to drag everything that you need to fight a war on the other side, like with you across all of this over the course of months. Pretty incredible. So we're getting pretty close to the turn, the point where we're going to turn and head um, up the really, really windy road with all the switchbacks. There's actually two ways, if you take this route, to get through that pass. One of them is a tunnel, really long tunnel, that you can go through. I imagine that's where, like, commercial trucks and stuff like that go through there. They've already been cleared through customs. And then... Buses like us and cars, you can go up, up the route and through the switchbacks all the way up to the very, very top of the world. You can see this stream running along the road here, and there are little springs popping out of the side of the mountain, feeding the stream. Pretty amazing. Snow melting way up top, way, way up there on that mountain. Popping out in a little spring here along this stream. Mountains are cool.
Like I said, we're getting really close to the turn off for the switchback. We're up above 300 or uh, 3,000 meters here. So we're up really, really high now. Heading through some sort of a checkpoint here. Yeah, there are these little, uh, just little collections of buildings. I think, like, uh, I don't know, checkpoints. I don't even know what this is. It's a little booth. Oh, well, Ace is a toll. People coming the other way from Chile. Turns out I was wrong, because we just went through that tunnel, and I actually looked on the map, and it looks like there is a section with a whole lot of switchbacks going back down the mountains, um, on the on the Chile the Chilean side. But I think oh we're on a new tunnel. I think I think we're actually in Chile. Still in the tunnel here, but when we popped out of that last tunnel. My, I've got a little bit of internet and my Google Maps updated and then said that we're in Chile now so I think we actually crossed the border and there's probably going to be a border checkpoint at some point and I know they're going to have to like check all our passports and everything like that we'll see, we'll see where we end up regardless there's been some amazing views up here alright, we're definitely in Chile in fact I think we're at the border control right now. Yeah, we're pulling up into border control. So we're all gonna get out and do what we gotta do, I guess. So we crossed the border. We are officially in Chile and legally in Chile now. So it's pretty easy. There weren't a lot of people there. It wasn't very busy, so we got through pretty quick. And uh, now we're officially in Chile. What the hell? So we're about to head down this part of the this part of the road with these insane switchbacks. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this. Like in Argentina, they take their time getting up the mountain. In Chile, it's just like, we're just gonna go straight down. Well, we hit the bottom of all those switchbacks. We must have dropped like a kilometer in <laughs> like 10 minutes. Mountains are still impressive. Making our way through the Chilean countryside here. We just passed a little town and there was like Chilean flags everywhere running alongside this this river that we've been running along the entire time and I unfortunately don't know exactly where we are because the second I crossed over into Chile my internet which is on a uh, like prepaid Argentine sim card just crapped out so 
we're kind of blind here, but that's okay. We're gonna just keep going basically until the bus stops at the terminal in uh, in Santiago. And at that point, we're gonna have to figure out how to get a SIM card. That's gonna be like mission number one. We actually already exchanged money right at the border. There was a currency exchange. So I got some Chilean pesos, which uh, are actually like value compared to the dollar a little a little more higher than Argentine pesos. Chilean pesos is about uh, 940 or so pesos to a dollar and uh, Argentine I, did, I haven't checked the blue dollar in a while but it's it's around 1200 or so but uh, the good thing about Chile is they have much larger denominations of bills so instead of getting like a huge stack of thousand pesos bills like you do in Argentina, you get, you know, a few 20,000 peso bills and a 10,000 and, and, you know, so it's a nice, uh, it saves space in your pocket, that's for sure. Since we don't really know where we are or how long it's going to be until we get to Chile, or I mean, uh, until we get to Chile, we're already in Chile, until we get to Santiago, I think just sort of relax and uh, my camera's running a little low on battery also so I don't want to waste it so I want to film a little bit in Santiago when we get there and um, I think we're just gonna take it easy until we get to Santiago so we'll check in then unless we see something really interesting along the way in which case I will try to film it okay I still don't know exactly where we are but there's like a plaza we've been driving through what are basically like really rural looking towns and this is the first town that we've gotten to that looks a little more like it might be more like a suburb so maybe we're getting close okay i found out where we are there's a sign that said los andes and if i remember correctly from the map that's like north of santiago and we just made a left turn which means we're headed south so I think we're going to be in Santiago pretty soon. All right, so the landscape has transitioned from like farms and big like agricultural warehouse distribution centers and whatnot that we were seeing before. And now we're on like a real freeway with pedestrian overpasses, apartment buildings, Saw some high rises out in the distance. So we are, if we're not officially in the city of Santiago, we are definitely really close. See, high rises. Overpasses. I've also seen, started to see some taxis. So yeah, we're definitely, definitely in Santiago now. Oh yeah. We're in the city. So we've officially arrived. We are here, Santiago, Chile. And I was gonna take my camera out and film at that bus station when we pulled in but it was sketchy as all hell, and I did not want to take my camera out there. So, we only did boring stuff anyway. We went and found a SIM card, and uh, got a little something to eat, and now we're all set. We're right here in the center, center, dead center, of Santiago, Chile. Plaza de Armas. Plaza de Armas. Of course, there's a large cathedral here, in Plaza de Armas because when the Spanish arrive they put down a plaza and they build a church that's what they do anyway we're here in Santiago and I think that's gonna be it for the video but there's gonna be plenty plenty more videos for sure this is a big city six and a half million people uh, it's super old it was founded here in like 1541 so it's gonna be plenty to see and do here in Santiago so stay tuned for more videos and uh, we'll see you in the next one.